What's going on guys and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 6 and another race car build. My vehicle today is the Holden VL Commodore. Now, this thing all the way up to A class, um, if you don't know the rules, basically you can just uh, go back to the previous video, this is only the second race car build, go to the previous video on the Ford Capri um, and it, all the rules and that will be there. Um, this car now, right at the top of A class, has 505 brake horsepower, so it is over 100 horsepower down on the Capri that we had last time out. Uh, 479 torque, which means it has a little bit more torque. Um, however, 2,970 pounds of weight means that it's actually quite a bit heavier than the Capri as well. So the power to weight ratio is nowhere near as good. I believe the tires, I mean, I think I only got like 285s on the rear of this car and like 265s or something on the front. So, um, yeah, the tires aren't very big either. I don't know what to expect from this car. It could be a mess, it could be a pretty good car. Um, I guess we'll have to find out. Alright, so here we are with the Holden VL Commodore. I'm interested to see how this is going to go. Will it be able to beat the Ford Capri? Like I said, the power weight ratio is not as good really. Um, however, that may mean that we can possibly put the power down a little better. Off the start line, yes, we have got a lot of wheel spin. Um, however, it's a lot more controllable than the Capri was. Um, I could get it going in a straight line, whereas the Capri would be veering off to one side. So um, that is a good start. I'm guessing because this car um, has not got as much power and is heavier, I'm guessing that means that it is going to be a nicer car to drive. So um, let's hope that is so, um, and see how it goes. Um, through these first few corners, it does feel a lot more composed than the Capri. That Capri was just all over the place. This feels a hell of a lot more composed. now. I put the, I think it's the 5.7 litre V8, um, I think that's what it is, it's a V8 anyway that you can put in this car, I put that in the car, um, that's what's given us the power, um, I was going to stick to the standard engine but I thought you know what, I will change it because um, otherwise I was going to have to put a lot of other handling parts in um, and for this series I want to mainly have engine parts because um, the cars, I want them to be kind of more powerhouses. Than, uh, than really good handling cars, but straight away, um, this is a hell of a lot nicer to drive back than the Capri. A hell of a lot nicer to drive. It just it goes around here so so much nicer. Um, we're going to be pretty close to the Capri's time on this first opening lap. To be honest, the Capri's time was a 121.945. Um, we've done a 23.0 already, so um, you know. It's oh, we've not quite got stopped into the first corner there. That's oh god. Let's try and put the power down. See, it does get sliding a lot more controllable than the Capri though, and it doesn't quite slide as much as the Capri did. It's just it's all around a lot a much nicer car to drive for this, and I guess that's why it does have less power and is heavier because it is all around just a nicer handling car. Wasn't really expecting it because like I said, I'm fairly sure I only got like two eight fives on the rear of this car which isn't particularly great I will be honest we got a little bit of a lock up coming into the chicane there um, get around here can we get around here without too much wheel spin it's definitely better than the Capri once again you can put the power down a lot easier in this car than you could in that Capri um, so I'm fairly sure this will go quicker probably not on this lap because we had a uh, shonky start with the braking um, however, maybe next lap, or at least definitely towards the end, if I get a good lap in, I think we'll be able to beat the Capri, and by a reasonable margin as well, I'm thinking. Uh, we're taking pretty much the same speed into this final corner here, maybe a little bit more composed though, so that's a lot nicer. We did not even beat our previous lap there because we outbraked ourselves into the first corner. Um, however, we're going to try now, we've got a good run onto this first, well, up, up to this first corner. Should I say, let's get turned in and around, running a little bit wide out of there. Not ideal, but it's not too bad. i run through here. Uh, this is the corner that I'm not amazing at. I don't know why. We actually got a pretty decent line through there. Actually, we can we can just put the power on so much sooner in this car, although it does, um, the you know, the wheel spin, it does come. You can just put the power down so much sooner. Um, and, you know, it's just, I didn't put all the power down, no. But with the Capri, you even put a little bit of power down and it starts doing things like this. Um, it did that, the Capri as well, on that corner. That could not be helped. Same with this car. A little bit more manageable though. 
we are quite a lot up on time uh, if we do uh, keep on with this we will I think be beating the Capri on this lap and by a reasonably good margin as well um, we could even be getting into the 219s here if we get a good lap um, yeah the I mean it does also you know with the Capri I hadn't been playing the game for that long um, I've been playing the game a little bit more now so I'm a little bit more used to the game um, however the Capri was a real handful to drive compared to this we've gone a lot quicker on that third lap a 121 Point zero. That's going to put this guy into first place, but can we go even quicker? I think we can. There's a few spots where um, time can definitely be made up. Um, maybe a slightly better line through there that time. I'm not really sure. We didn't kind of drift as wide. We kind of were a bit tight on that, to be honest, but um, I think it was okay. Let's get through here. Oh, we've gone a little bit out there. A little bit out. Are we up on our previous lap? No, we're not. We're actually two tenths almost three tenths down which isn't great let's get stopped up for the chicane this is quite a nice handling car I will be honest like I said it is a little bit slidey and I think pretty much all the cars are gonna be slidey on this series because um you know these cars are built to be they're built for powerful they're supposed to be powerful race guys you know the um with the exception of the brakes and the dampers and all that um, the rest of the parts that I'm sticking on uh, are you know engine upgrade parts because um, I want to make these cars as powerful as I can in this class with the engine that I provide um, so yeah they're, they're all gonna have I think they're all gonna have some traction issues but um, that's to be expected uh, we were pretty quick around there we have actually gone quicker again at 120.9 and this is our final lap here can we go any quicker than a 120.9 I think my getting into the 119s I think was a little bit ambitious for this car um, however we will try um, we need to make up nine tenths of a second pretty much a second note we've we've bloody given it away we've blo <laughs> shit I try I tried pushing myself too much around that corner and it wasn't great that last lap was pretty good we were a bit down at the start um, but it was a pretty decent lap we are way down now I just got a bit of a twitch on around the corner and couldn't quite hold it that is disappointing um, however we have absolutely smashed the um, the Capri's time by a second um, pretty much we created a 121.9 I believe this has done a 120.9 so we're a whole second in front of the Capri um, I think we could go a few tenths of a second faster maybe get it to a 120.5 potentially um, however I'm not gonna have time with the five laps that we have maybe like the really really far on in the series when we're coming to an end and I am um, redo some cars um, I will come back to this car see if I can go any quicker but for now the 120.9 I'll just see what the exact time was 120.933 that is going to be our new leaderboard time it is the new fastest car on the leaderboard out of the only two cars that have gone um yeah a, a, a pretty nice car to drive actually um you know it's not got the power of the capri it's also got a fair amount more weight um going on 500 uh, pounds more weight however it's a much more controllable car you can be more consistent with it it does get slight twitches on that was very unlucky on that last lap there um i was hoping we could get a really good lap there the fourth lap wasn't terrible, we were a bit slow on the first sector, the second sector was pretty damn fast, um, I think we could have probably got it down to a 120.5, uh, you know, taken another three tenths, four tenths of a second off it, but a 120.933 is going to be the time for the Commodore, puts it into first place on the leaderboard, um, and yeah, it's basically the new time to beat. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please go ahead, like, and subscribe. Comment what other cars you would like to see race car builds of. And I'll see you guys in the next video.